Hello, my beautiful Libra dragons. Welcome to your full moon reading for September. I keep saying, wanting to say August, and it is so wrong. So, welcome to your full moon reading for September 6th. So, this is supposed to be like the big, like the, the moon we've all been waiting for. I say supposed to be because... <sighs> I don't know. I guess you're going to make of it whatever you want to, right? So, um, but everybody's always going through things and, um, and, uh, we have to try to, we have to try to keep a positive mindset through everything that happens, right? Um, and I think that's the big thing is, is that we always keep hope, right? We always have faith, right? Because if we don't have faith, then really what else, what else are we doing, right? So here's what we have here for you guys. And maybe it's just sort of the overall energy I have for you guys. Whoop, I just tried to sit up higher and I knocked everything over. So what I have for you guys is this, right? Um, I'm getting like, you've been a little bit low on your self-confidence. Um, but I don't feel like you are. I just feel like you're kind of like, mm, melancholy, mm, right? So we have work through your fears. Right, you are good enough, and be bold and make the first move. I'm hearing highly here that you're um, you're interested in something, but you have this fear, and I don't know why. Oh, I just heard that you have a fear that it could be real. You have a fear that it could be real, and that has you a little bit scared, and you're wondering if you're good enough. And the big thing is. Um, yeah, you are. Come on, Libras. Let's get some cards for you, shall we? Let's get some cards for Libra. Let's see Libra's story. What has them so fearful? Why don't they think they're good enough? And what do they want to make the first move on? Hmm. I get a heavy love feeling here. Like a pretty heavy love feeling. Oh. I'm not going to take all those. Although I did see the hanged man in reverse. So I feel like um, just as a little bit of a hint is that maybe you're very stuck on your ways and you need to sort of open yourself to see that you are good enough and that whatever uh, is holding you back, right, that you shouldn't be fearful of it, right? Don't be afraid. here oh way back here you made some sort of a judgment call okay um you found out some sort of truth and um you you decided that certain parts needed to be released um as to do with something that was very passionate You thought, hmm, I, hmm, let me see. You guys have been all over the place. We have judgment, okay? And it could be also that you gave a second chance. You went back to something, right? Might, that might have been fiery and passionate. And you had all the best wishes for it, right? And and that it did seem abundant and peaceful and everything. But that you, um, three, the three of cups, okay? So it's, um, um, I feel that you had success, right? And it was positive, um,
and, and, and you've had all this positiveness come through, right? But, for, but then, yeah, you have your Six of Cups. I feel like you're getting held back um, into old memories and patterns. And I feel like you're not making the choice to go forward with this Ace of Cups, right? You're being, you're being stubborn and you're holding back. You should be moving towards something and you're not, okay? Because you think that, so either for some reason, I really get this feeling like you don't trust them. Because when I pull up this Three of Cups, what I saw is, so it's not just celebration, what I saw is the mask. I get the feeling like you really don't trust this person, right? And, um, and it's like you can't really pinpoint it. So you sort of put yourself stuck, so this is why you're not making the first move. Because you don't really have any solid belief that they're wearing a mask. Um, but it's, it's, it's almost brought out something in you that you didn't know existed. And it's like, I don't know why, but you intrigue me, but I'm gonna keep you at arm's length. Because you intrigue me, because you challenge me, because you bring things out, and it's like, there's nothing to do with you, it has everything to do with me, right? So, um, and I think that it pulls out an insecurity, but I don't really get the feeling like this person is doing it. I really don't get the feeling like this person is the one doing it. Yeah, look, death. You gotta end this way of thinking. Yeah, page of cups. You need to move ahead with, with, um, with new love right? A new emotional beginning. I think, are you, you must be stuck in this. You're stuck in your distrust of whatever the situation was. And it was fiery. There was passion, right? But, um, but there was a lot of like, almost like illusion. Yeah, look, it's, you, you have to leave it behind and you're not, you're staying blinded. You have to work through your fears because it's like, you can't even see that you're doing it. You're just staying there. Right? Hmm. I think that's probably why I started this reading and I was like, ah, eh, well, you know, it's supposed to be a new moon. It's supposed to be the best one. And I, I get the feeling like this is really where you're coming from is you're very much in your head. And Libras, you guys need balance and you are in a space of absolute imbalance right now. Look at this. Even on the bottom of the deck, justice is in reverse. This is you. You guys are just us. You're upside down. Okay? You you guys aren't, you're not being yourselves. I don't get a sense that you're depressed. Uh, maybe you're spiritually depressed. Can we get some clarification? This is a cute little deck that I'm using. Um, it's supposed to be for love. It's supposed to be for love oracle, but it's applicable for anything. But let's see what's going on exactly. Okay, give me some cards. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. So if you guys are watching this, you might have actually turned this off because you're like, not today. I'm not dealing with the hurt. I'm going to avoid the conversation. I'm going to, you know, um, I'm going to put my boundaries up, but it's almost in a negative way and I'm still angry. Not today. Not today, world. Not today, you. Okay, I'm not going to deal with this. Not today. Um, and it's funny because this landed out over top of your good enough and death. So you don't want to even move on because it's so hard. Yeah. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. That is over this. So I'm sorry, guys, if you're still with me and you're still listening to this, self-indulgence trumps not today. So yes, today. Yes, you're going to do it today. Yes, you're going to take care of it today. Yes, you're going to focus on yourself because you are good enough. Yes, you are going to sit down and make a step forward because you are good enough. And look at this hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic. Options, right? Not showing your hand and gambling. So you might poke about a little bit, right? But you are going to take a chance because you know what? 
you deserve it. You deserve to take a chance on yourself, okay? You wanna know why? Because you are good enough and you're gonna tell those fears to go away, okay? Work through them, okay? And sometimes the best way to work through a fear is to face it head on and work through it, okay? Because most of our fears are in our head, right? And we create situations that haven't even happened yet. Okay, Libra. So this is your new moon reading. Um, good reading, right? But you guys, you got to flip yourselves back, right? Okay, you got to think about what you've had unjustly done to you or what mindset you have. And you need to get back into being positive again. Okay, be around the people that make you feel good. Okay, be around the people that are truly there for you. Okay, Libra. I will see you for your mid-month reading. Please like and subscribe, please, and I thank you for your support. Thank you. Bye, guys.